So after learning the standard neural networks or MLP, let's dive into the special kind of neural networks, which is the convolutional neural networks. Let's first get some intuitions on why we need it. So first, let's have a recap on the MLP, which is the standard neural networks. Suppose we have an image classification task and we want to know whether an image is a cat or dog or neither. So here is a neural network with one hidden layer and the input xi are each of the pixels features of the image. So for a color image of size 200 by 200 by 3, we will have 120,000 input features. And if we train a single hidden layer MLP with 100 hidden units, there will be 12 minutes ways to train. So that's around 48 megabytes if we store it in a floating point number with 32 bits. And hence, training an MLP or image is so costly. And that's why the convolutional neural network idea is rising up. So we need a model with less parameters or weights. But it can still be functioning as the MLP. Let's get some intuition first. See, we have object detection task, and we want to find a weldo in the given image. If we look at the picture of weldo here, there are a lot of weldos on the picture. And to recognize a weldo, it doesn't really depend on where in the picture the sky is. And also, it doesn't really depend on very much on the weldo's neighbors. This two intuition we have been discussing could be made more concrete yielding a few key principles of building neural networks for computer vision. First is translation invariance, which means our vision system responds similarly by the same object, no matter where it appears on the image. Like in this picture, the left weldo is and the right weldo are both weldos. And second is locality, which means our vision system focus on somewhat local regions during detection, but not something farther from it. And in this example, it means we don't need to include the trees during the world of detection. So how do we formalize the two intuition in our region system? Well, here are the mathematics behind the scene. We define each pixel as xig, and each weight parameter as WAB on the filters, which are the black box over here, and also call the filters as a convolution or the kernels. And with the 2D convolution windows, the hidden layer is calculated within the plus and minus delta range, both horizontally and vertically, as we slide in the windows. So here is a detailed example of how does the 2D filter work, where we have an input of 3 by 3 and a kernel of 2 by 2. What do we do is we just point-wise multiply the interest of the kernel with the input. For example, how do we get the 90 in the output? We have 0 times 0 plus 1 by 1 plus 3 by 2 plus 4 by 3 equals to 90. On our left is a great illustration of how a 3 by 3 convolutional windows filters through a 4 by 4 image. Maybe the maps here was just a little bit intimidating, but the outcome is, as you know, is super simple, right? So if we generalize the previous examples a bit, then in the, in the input big X is n by H by n by W input matrix, and the way is big W and it's a KH by KW kernel matrix. And the bias B is a scalar. Then the big Y can be calculated by the big X element-wise monopoly 
with the big W and then plus B. So here, as the W and B are the trainable parameters. So what does trainable parameters mean? It means that we can apply the same optimization techniques as what we learned in the neural network section, such as gradient descent, and gradually adjust the parameters of the filters. And the filters can detect whether some pixels are the edge of a Waldo's head or other pixel at the skins of a Waldo's face. So here are three sample filters represented by three matrices. If the input image comes in, what will happen after each of the filters? Well, the first filters can be viewed as a, an edge detector, while the second filter will sharpen the input image, and the third will blur the image. So these are just some human craft filters, but there are way more filters we can train using the same strategies as training the standard neural networks, and we will have to implement and use this convolution of filters in our notebooks.